Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Learn World. I am Manoj Kumar. Today, today I am here to discuss a new concept from our research that is research paper writing. As we know in previous videos, what is research? So research always starts with a problem and ends with a problem. And in, in our research, we are going to find any new thing or any uh, new insight which in our domain. So whenever we got a new thing or new insight from our domain, we should write it in a paper like a in a word file so to get publish it so <clears throat> we have a research problem we we know the things we have the solution but how to write it in a proper manner so this is a <clears throat> very basic and very important knowledge that we should understand in our research that is writing a research paper the now we'll see first the structure of research paper the structure of research paper starts with the paper title and next author and affiliation, abstract and introduction, literature review, methodology, implementation results, discussion, conclusion, future work, acknowledgement and ends with the references. So we will see first paper title. So paper title, whatever the title you have decided to write to keep as your paper title, it must be in a 18 to 15 words. Except uh, we should uh, exclude the helping words and remaining should be in between the 18 and 15 words. We should not include any abbreviations. Abbreviations means short forms like IOT. IOT is a short form of Internet of Things. We should not include in paper title. Title, sorry, the title should be meaningful. Whatever the title we are making, it should be meaningful that it will show some content, some meaning about your research and the title should cover the main theme of the paper that we are saying that the whatever we are doing we are to where we have done in our research that thing should be announced from your title now we'll see author and affiliation the second step in uh, paper uh, research paper writing is author names author name and affiliation always remember that the first author always get us credit of 70 percent and the second author get 30 percent and if you have many authors that thing the remaining authors will be uh, shared between in last 30 percent but the first author always gets 70 percent credit now we'll see abstract so what is abstract abstract is a summarize sum a summary of your research paper means the whole paper we have to summarize in in between of 300 words or something uh, which is uh, accepted by the journals always they uh, expect in between 300 words so the what the things your research paper should cover in an abstract first one is motivation that what motivates you to make a research paper what motivates you to make this research things so first one is what is the importance or we can say that what is the uh, motive behind your research so first it should be covered in between in two lines and next one is research gaps or we can say objectives so is there any research gap that because of you have you have decided to do a research on this topic so we should cover this in our two lines next one is methodology we are not going to uh, tell complete explain complete methodology we are just mentioning that which method we have used in our research next one is key findings and results what are the key findings what are the results accuracy in percentage is like a 92 98 and something like we should mention it last one is a conclusion that what is the significance of the study where you are going to uh, where in in which domain this research your research will going to be helpful this one is abstract that starts with this. so this is about abstract in abstract we have to cover first motivation that what motivates you to do research next research gaps methodology key findings and results and end with the significance of the study this is a way of writing the abstract <coughs> at the next step of abstract we have to write the uh, <coughs> some key features like uh, we can say keywords which will be helpful in a uh, digital world to identify your research paper it may be in between of 5 to 10 now let next will be the <coughs> introduction part
next one will be the introduction in introduction <coughs> sorry guys i didn't include this slide so here is the introduction the introduction part should cover what is the uh, background of your study like uh, if you are uh, choose any concept then you should tell something about that concept that what is this what is this concept what is the background how it is evolved what is the uh, um, history of this and what is the present status and what is happening presently in this uh, domain we have to include it in the <coughs> introduction section next after introduction we should cover literature review so what is the literature review the what are the components a uh, literature review should contain the literature sh review should contain first major findings methods and technique used in literature reviews we have to review many and many papers to get a brief knowledge or explain knowledge so first it should cover what is the major findings in that paper in that literature in that old papers it is present next which method they have used to get the result we have to mention it and what is the technique they have used we have to find it out next is the research gap and limitations so what is the research gap the research gap is what is already done and what has already sorry and future what we have to do that is the research gap like we can say uh, there is a many forms of research gap we can get a research gap from the data set also like uh, if someone is using very a uh, low level data set or very less number of data set like 100 200 300 number of samples then that may be also research gap like you are going to announce that research by getting a, a very big uh, uh, data set like a uh, thousand two thousand ten thousand twenty thousand samples and that is in the limitations of previous paper and you are the and that thing will be objective of your present research next the points which cover and which are not covered in the literature survey we have to mention what are the points they have covered in our research and what are the points we should cover in our research so we have to include it then why we select in the particular concept we are doing the literature review means we are looking into something which which is we are looking into so in the literature review we should tell that why you why we are selecting the selecting our research problem so we have to find the limitation from the previous study so we can get the uh, idea regarding the particular concept next is methodology so what is methodology we can simply say that methodology is step by step uh, representation of our whole research that whatever how we started and how we ended and what are the methods in between we have used the method methodology is also uh, the flow of research paper how it is flowing from start to end like uh, how it we started what are the how we uh, collected the data how we pre-processed and what are the methods we have used what are how we divided the data like uh, in the machine learning we can we are going to divide the experiment you know like a training set and testing set and all those things are covered in methodology in the methodology we can cover also experimental design like what is the design of our experiment and algorithms what we are using and flowchart flowchart is very a uh, very known thing flowchart is means a step-by-step representation of our step-by-step -step representation of our problem is a flowchart so method in methodology we should cover all these things like a uh, first we know the the flow of the research in the methodology and experimental design that we are using algorithms and <coughs> those all things we should be present or explained in step by step this is the concept of methodology next one is implementation or experimental results <coughs> this is the main thing in our research we should give a care importance to this part because this is the main thing that we are going to explaining in our research paper first what is it what are the major findings we have used some techniques some methods and blah blah some things and by using those things we are going to find this some things that is new in our research domain so that part should be covered in implementation or experimental results section and in in this part you guys also can uh, figure out some figures tables graphs charts etc whatever you got the results we can 
express those things in figures tables graphs and etc or any charts or anything this is about implementation and experimental results now comes to discussion 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 is also plays a very important role in research paper because discussion will tell uh, it's like a summarized view of our research whatever we have done not about uh, fast research whatever we have done we should discuss in in this section discussion on our research that what we have what we have incited what we have find out the new things and important findings that what we have got a important findings what we got a new things uh, next result comparison if you have done a, a research on a, uh, on by considering a particular paper then we have <coughs> get some extra results than a before one so we should compare that result that before this much of accuracy we get and now we are getting a this much this much of accuracy so this is the result comparison now in discussion we have to sell what are the advantages of your research paper we are doing research means there are some advantages regarding a particular domain or we can say also application that whatever we have done research where it is applicable is it useful or not so these things should be covered in discussion section now comes to conclusion and future work the conclusion is a very important thing we in this section we are going to conclude about our research and we'll say future things that what we can do in our future so first one is purpose and final achievement in conclusion we should uh, include what is the purpose of our research what are the final we have achieved second one research objectives we have taken a limitations of a previous paper as our objectives and did we get those objectives did we achieve or not we should cover it now the next is key uh, review key findings in conclusion we should say uh, mention some of the key findings that we have uh, uh, got like uh, accuracy or a new data set or a uh, big data set anything if you use in our research then we should mention it next one next one is the significance of the research in conclusion we should mention what is the importance what is the significance of your research paper what is the importance of your research paper to the society we should mention it next comes to contribution that how research is helpful to the society is this whatever the doing research is a uh, helpful to the society if it is helpful how it is helpful how the how it is going to solve the this uh, daily uh, society problems so we should mention it now comes to limitation as a future study future study we will uh, in future study we say that what are the limitations what are the limitations of your present study and in future how you going to make a more enhancement in your research that will be uh, <coughs> mentioned in the future work now comes to at the end of acknowledgement and references acknowledgement and references are like uh, it is going to be giving a contribution or we can say uh, giving a name of a person of a thing or a uh, organization that we are saying that this person this organization helped me by uh, financially or by financially that uh, so we should mention their names like uh, that this person this organization helped me in my research by financial support at the end of references references uh, bibliography section that we should uh, cite in our whatever the papers we have cited in our research paper we should mention them at the end of the references so this is the format of a research like uh, st uh, as i as we discussed the structure of research paper start with the paper title author and appellation abstract and and at the down of abstract we mention some keywords and introduction that uh, introduction regarding uh, background study of our research literature review that whatever the uh, whatever the research have already happened in our research we cover in literature review next one is methodology the what are the methods what is the flow of our research we should mention methodology implementation implementation results what are the new insight we got in our research we should mention in a fourth point that is implementation result now we'll discussion the in the research in, in discussion we are going to discuss our research that whatever we got and whatever the new things we have incited in the discussion section and next conclusion and future work that what are we should conclude like a summarized 
like a summarization of our research is a conclusion that whatever we got those things we include in it and future works means as a limitations what are the limitations of our research are acted as a future work next means the acknowledgement that we are going to uh, uh, naming a person organization that helped us and at the end of references that uh, what are uh, what have the papers we have used while doing our research so this is all about uh, writing a research paper <coughs> thank you everyone for watching my youtube videos if you like my video then please share and subscribe to my channel Thank you.